Hello, I'm William. This is the Wine Room at Putnam Market. And last week I had the pleasure of going to a wine dinner, the subject of which was Burgundy, the wines of Burgundy, compared with the wines of Oregon. Very interesting it was. But it seemed to me that it was quite difficult to explain quite why Burgundy is so important in the world of wine. It is, uh, as you may well know, the source of the most famous Pinot Noir and the most famous Chardonnay on the planet. And I want you to imagine that this bar of Toblerone is in fact the famous coat door, the slopes on which the vines are grown, and that you're looking pretty much due north. And you can see that the slopes where the vines are, which is the slope facing you, are facing south east. Now, it's not one completely unbroken slope. As you can see, it's just a bit like a Toblerone bar with lots of valleys going through the slopes. And there are three major regions. This one to the south is known as the Cote de Bone. This one in the middle is also in the Cote de Bone, but it's the Hill of Corton. And here you've got the Cote de Nuit. And generally speaking, generally speaking, Cote de Bone is where you'll find the white wines and all of the famous red wines from Pinot Noir will be in the Cote de Noir. Now you can memorize that because Noir and Pinot Noir and Nuit, Cote de Nuit, they all have the letter N in common. And down in the south, it's not true that they only make white wines. They don't. They make a considerable amount of red wine as well. As you can see, I mean, here, two wines, both from the famous village Appalachian Chassin Morache, and one is Chardonnay, and the other is Pinot Noir. And, of course, the reason why all farmers like planting the red wine is because, as Thomas Jefferson remarked when he visited Burgundy, the people who grow white wine grapes eat tough rye bread, while the people who grow red wine grapes get the white fluffy stuff.